How's it going everyone? Farm Boy Spence here and welcome back to On the Farm. So we got some trucks coming in today to haul corn. So that's what we're doing this morning. I got a dentist appointment in a couple hours. So I'll be leaving for a little bit for that, but we're pretty much just gonna be doing this all day. The mill's closed across town, so we can't haul any wheat. So we're just gonna be shuffling out corn all day. We had something pretty cool yesterday. I wasn't planning on filming yesterday, but there was, I gotta write down the weight on this truck as it pulls up. They brought out a new drone for us to demo and it's a spray drone it's got a tank on it that can be used to spot spray Let's see 28,420 good but it's a drone and it's a huge drone which you're about to see it but they came out and you know what I'm gonna quit talking about it I'm gonna just show you Tell me where we're at. On I wasn't going to do no bunch of drinking. <laughs> the blade's falling down here. Oh. You can rust on this damn thing, man. You know it's Mississippi. And then I've got... Is this locked down right here? First. I think this one has to go Oh, it does? First. Yeah. If three ounces is good, six will be better. You put it in me. And when it would come back, you'd pull it out and you'd have another cartridge and you pull the battery and put another one in there, you'd have to mix. I'm not sure when they decided to do more. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. Um, on the T30, that's supposedly on the T40 that's out now, it's supposed to have a um, a little more. Um it would probably take off from there, but that's it. You get, I've got some spray coverage cards in the truck, you know, you can stick them down that canopy and you can get it a whole lot deeper than you can get it with an airplane. Even when I was in grad school, when I was coming out, if you'd have told me I'd have been flying a drone spraying a crop, I'd have told you you're a damn liar. You lost good money. Good money. That's why I think just about every farm in 10 years will have one. Because, I mean, y'all saw what it took to get it up and going. Yeah. yeah. When you can't get a plane, so you get it figured out, Chad, down to at 2,100 GDUs, I need to do this, and that plane can't be there. 
that joker right there can go do it. When you need to burn down cover crop in the spring, ground's yeah. a little moist, that thing right there can do it. You can spray at night. How much stuff are you doing manually there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just take off, that's it? Build a map, take off, watch. So sometimes it'll get out there and like if it came up here and got close to this tree and it had a sensor above and set something in front of it, it'll just lock up there. And when that thing gets about 18% battery, it's sitting down, it doesn't matter where it's at. And if you ever have to tote it from a bat and the battery and tank from the far end of this field across there, you won't make that mistake but once. And then the other thing is while it records where it took off from, sometimes it actually tries to land slightly off. And like my third time flying and it came in close enough to the edge of the trailer and I didn't have the remote in my hand, it hit the propeller and busted that propeller. And then I was down for about two hours while I went and got one. Clean video. video of the map and that. It's giving me a pump one flow, pump one calibration, calculate flow calculation error. Air in the pump. I need to check that. Pick up the flow pump one is what it's saying. I honestly don't even know. Sometimes you just... Sometimes it's just sucking air somewhere. It's maintaining the, uh, the output at, at, for, at uh, three gallons. So it's not, it's not affecting the spray. It's just sucking air somewhere. Did you bring a battery? No. Um, you can plug it? Yeah, we'll bring the drone back there. How much have I got left? He plugs back up. So I think we'll just put the acre in there. Is that locked right if it if that clamp goes down and everything yeah. slides in there? Yeah. Once and hold yeah. down. There you go. Ready? Is that one ounce? One ounce? Yeah. All green. Good. So is everything here in green the routes that it's already done? Yes. I'm going to add another acre to it and spray. <laughs> uh, didn't planting season, all the stuff you put in, you choke the pump up. He, uh, he told me, I, I said, what all you want to put out? And he said, you better not ask me that. He said, I will choke that drone down. <laughs> all right, it is on, correct? Yes. One service and one running. I mean, you'd work your you, ass off. You if can run three. Yeah, you can run three. You got to have two people to do it. Um, one, to be honest with you, set up right so that, that you ain't got a bunch of taxi time. Uh, one will run a person pretty ragged all day in the heat. Yeah, I could see that, like right here, like mm -hmm. we just did. You know, you better be. You know, you better be ready. And the other thing on the chargers, you got to have a. Um, the rapid cycling of those things in the summer heat, the batteries will get hot, they won't last long, and, and just don't really want to charge very well. All this corn down, all this corn down here has pivot, pivot by on. Alright. There you go. <laughs> we don't do no fake dragon, do we, bro? So you can buy, I got one to test out this year. And you can add it in here. That's, that's why I like the idea of putting it down here. Right when you figure hose, out what order. You hang in this hose or just throwing it in there? Just throwing it in there. 
All right, one that goes down. We're gonna take it to one of our other farms now and use it some there. And as we're driving to the next farm, those batteries are getting charged. And he told me that there's three batteries that he has. And by the time the third battery has been used up, the first battery will be done charging because they hook them up to a really powerful generator. I saw four right back to back. Is that one? Mm -hmm. I saw four right when I pulled it up. There's four. There's four. Three, two, three, three. Most of them stuck. I mean, you look down in there. All of them are stuck. Um. A whole lot of disease. I do see some downy mildew and a couple nodes down. But they're blooming at the top. If you were to spray them this week, you'd help stick that top crop, help hold that. Still no more Roundup. Why do you need Roundup out here? I'm just saying. No. Like, that's what I'm getting at. Don't spray if you don't need it. Those are that way, unless you want to go right down there and then let's take off and let's spray half of it this way. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Like, wouldn't that be a better? To me, that's fine. And we could spray all the way down the end and back, couldn't we? So this is the field, correct? Just like that. Is that where we, where we sitting at? We're sitting at the blue dot. Yes, yes. Yeah, so why don't I do this? Why don't I build a map and then let you... Just right in front of the truck there. Yep. And so this gives us, this outside edge will give us what is the response of only doing it at Brown Seal. Yeah, yeah we need to go to 30 liters. Serious? He's like, that's not what you asked for? I said, you know that. He laughed. He said, we got to get rid of it somehow. I said, well, you... First one of these I ever messed with was a company called Kiwi Aero about eight years ago. And the body of it would fit in the bed of the truck, but you had to take it apart and put it together. And it had a 50 gallon tank and the battery, it was like three battery cartridges like that, but you could spray 80 acres an hour with one. They're Guardian or something now. I knew it didn't fit right. That one ain't right either. Is it? How much is just one of these? Uh, the bird itself, uh, when this was new, was 20,000. Oh. Extra battery, battery's about 1,200 bucks a piece. <coughs> um, you can buy three charger kit, spare parts, or the rapid charge and spare parts kits. 
three batteries, bird. Okay. And can sell it for about 30 grand. The T40 now you can actually get for about 26 for the same sort of setup. So, a few minutes ago, the power just went out out here. I'm not sure what the problem was, but pretty sure the grain leg right now is stopped. And it's, well, I know the grain leg stopped, but it's chock full of corn. So, hopefully we can get it back running once the power comes on. I don't know, but it's, it's loaded. So, we just got back from lunch. The power has actually come back on. It took it a little while. But I'm going to do some box blading here on Chad's driveway. This tractor here is very important to me. This is, I joke with Dad, this is the only piece of red machinery that we allow on our farm. It's a Massey Ferguson 231, and my grandfather unfortunately passed away a couple years ago. And he left me this. And this tractor comes with a box blade, a rotary cutter, and a small disc that all hooks up to the three-point linkage back here so it's a little tedious to hook up but it's just it's a really neat piece of equipment and the fact that it was my grandfather's i'm going to take very very good care of this it's got a high and low range and it's got four gears in each range so i'm going to set this box blade down and we're going to level out his driveway again we're hauling again every once in a while I like to go up there and manually check the level just to make sure that none of our dials are stuck So according to both the dials and the manual check, we can still fit one more load in there. So come around here to the fertilizer trailer. I got to put a full tote of fertilizer in there, which is about 300 gallons. And then I'm going to put 1200 gallons of this nitrate right in on top of it. About to hit 1250 right here. I don't think I ever filmed an outro. So here it is. I had kind of a shorter day today. After we uh after we hauled for a little bit, I went down and mowed the pasture. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here because I got a bunch of footage of that spray drone so that's gonna be the that's gonna be the main thing in this video but i just let dixie out use the bathroom i'm gonna go back in bed i'm gonna get to bed early like it's it's just now nine o'clock but i've been so unbelievably tired this week so i'm gonna go to bed early get some nice rest and probably be hauling tomorrow as well so 
Until next time, I'm Farm Boy Spence, and I'll see y'all. Good night.